Well, today is April Fool's Day, but it's also First Friday, and they'll have lots of entertainment and vendors there. First Friday runs from 5 to 11 p.m., and if you're heading there, you can park at the City of Las Vegas parking garage and take a shuttle to and from the event. The shuttles run until midnight. Yeah, I know my son is very excited that it's April Fool's Day. <laughs> you better watch out. Yeah, you right, never know exactly. what he's going to do. We'll see. Uh, good morning, Las Vegas. The time now is 621. So are you brave enough to take the plunge? Well, how you can support the Special Olympics of Nevada this weekend. And as and Justin Bruce will be back with his super seven day forecast to get you ready for all of your weekend plans. Uh, you're watching Good Morning Las Vegas and we will be right back on this Friday morning. <laughs> Beautiful out there. It is. Supporting the Special Olympics of Nevada with the annual Polar Plunge there at Cowabunga Bay Water Park. Now, brave people can hop, skip, run, jump, or just dive right into Cowabunga's uh, wave pool, all to support the Special Olympics health and sports programs. It is happening tomorrow at the park at 9 a.m. Registration is $125 and $45 for those who don't want to take the plunge. Now, taking the plunge here in Las Vegas a lot different than, say, taking the plunge in, like, Green yeah. Bay. <laughs> very, uh, true. You know. <laughs> yeah, very, very true. Speaking of polar plunge, I feel like my kiddos have been eyeing the neighborhood pool. We've seen a, yes, a few right. brave souls. Uh -huh. So I, I, I think the time might be here this weekend to actually go ahead and take the first dip into the neighborhood pool. Just a reminder, UV index is high, uh, so you need uh, sunscreen, sunglasses, and a hat. Lots of sunshine today, as well as tomorrow. We'll be 86 tomorrow. A little bit of a breeze, though, uh, but we do need to get into that sunscreen habit. Uh, before we think about the weekend, lovely Friday morning sunrise. How about that? Lots and lots of sunshine today. Getting said kiddos or grandkids ready for school. Temperatures in the upper 50s at drop off or waiting for the bus. Uh, so we need to grab a sweatshirt or a, a sweater or a light jacket. It's t-shirt type temperatures though this afternoon. School pickup, bus drop off. We've got temperatures in the upper 70s. Uh, we saw 86 tomorrow. Sunday ends up mostly cloudy. A little bit of a breeze and temperatures near 80. But guys, take a gander at early next week. Mid 80s Monday, near 90 Tuesday. Uh, it's a heck of a gander right there. Uh, good morning, Las Vegas. The time now is 626. A mortgage rates right now, they are increasing. And a Las Vegas home expert now offers some tips for home buyers to try to beat out the competition. And as gas prices increase, people are choosing to leave their car at home. Melissa Bethencourt will be here to compare how much people spend on gas to how much they're saving if they take the bus. The bottom line is if we want lower gas prices, we need to have a more oil supply right now. The U.S. will release millions of barrels of oil from the nation's emergency fund. Why there's mixed views now, though, on why this will and will not help ease the pain of the pump. But despite those efforts to lower some gas prices, some people right now they are choosing alternatives. What more people are now doing to avoid paying these high prices. Plus, I'm John Matteries. Hope your car doesn't need a new brake or transmission module or a catalytic converter. I'll show you why some people now have to wait months for a car repair. That story coming up. And the Henderson Silver Knights, they are now getting ready to play their first home game this weekend inside their new arena. Rachel Moore is going to join us live from the Dollar Loan Center to give you a preview. All right, good morning. Thank you so much for waking up with us on this Friday morning. I'm Kalina Estrino. And I'm Ty Kinyaros. It is finally Friday, April 1st, too, to boot mm -hmm. as well. We're going to get to all your top stories in a second. But first, let's check in now with Justin Bruce. And Justin, certainly Ooh. a great weekend especially if you do have some outdoor plans. In the meantime, look at that That's sunrise on this Nice, huh? Guys, mm -hmm. what if I uh, told you it might actually snow in the valley later today? What? Just kidding. It's April, April Fool's. Fools. Oh, had I get, see what you did <laughs> Had to get one, one in there. took a while to catch up Now that we're <laughs> OAI. Uh, we've got a lovely sunrise. Watching the sun come up across the eastern horizon. Temperatures in the mid-50s in Green Valley. Upper 50s at Nellis. 53 in Centennial Hills. Uh, no rain, no snow, no nothing in the forecast. Lots of sunshine from start to finish. 
Bit of a breeze this morning, 10 to 15 mile per hour winds across the valley as you walk out the door. That's going to accentuate uh, the early morning chill. Upper 50s still through the 7 o'clock hour. By 9 in the morning, that breeze has tapered. We're 67 degrees. Lots of sun. 11 a.m. at 72, and we should get up to 80 degrees by the end of the afternoon. Uh, air quality, it's moderate, so if you've got asthma, respiratory issues, just a heads up. You may want to take it easy out there today. So that's why I'm sniffling all over the place. Thank you, Justin. As we take a look at your roadways this morning, do still have a crash active Russell and Paradise Road. Thankfully not affecting your main lanes this morning, but it is still there not too far from Harry Reid International Airport. Taking a check of traffic in a couple of other areas this morning. I know the camera is a little dark, but we do still have a scene here. 95 northbound at Rancho, not too far from the Rainbow Curve and traffic, of course, bumper to bumper. This is 95 northbound at Eastern through that cone zone. I wanted to check in with some gas prices around the valley. The lowest right now is 479 average is 533. We've got those numbers from gasbuddy.com. A couple of areas around the valley where you can find the cheapest gas 479 at the Rebel Gas Station on Russell and Decatur 481 at the Circle K on Craig and Allen Lane and then 481 at the Murphy Express on Craig Road and Clayton Street. Zero, thank you. In the meantime, President Biden making a major announcement to try to help ease the pain at the pump. The U.S. will release up to 180 million barrels of oil from the nation's emergency supply. So the president predicting the prices at the pump will go down fairly significantly, but critics are saying the first two times the president dipped into the national reserves in the last six months, it didn't do very much to help ease any prices. Republicans instead are saying Biden should focus on boosting U.S. energy production. I think the, the administration's anti-fossil fuel views are sort of like a religion. Until that policy changes, we're going to have a problem. Now, President Biden believes Americans could pay 10 to 35 cents a gallon less at the pump in the weeks ahead, potentially dropping the national average below $4 a gallon. And also in the meantime, if you do want to cut down on those uh, high costs of gas at the pump right now, you can watch 13 Action News live at 6 p.m. today for our great gas giveaway. It's all to win $100 worth of gas. All you got to do is listen for the secret word, then enter it at KTNV.com, then watch to see if you are in fact a winner. Now we are continuing to see, as we said, the highest gas prices we've seen in years. Yeah, and so this morning we've also learned that it is now pushing some people to go ahead and ditch their cars for their commute and now turn to public transportation instead. And reporter Alyssa Bethancourt now joins us live here in studio. And Alyssa, more and more people, they are now making this switch. Yeah, Todd, really it comes down to people wanting to save more money. What most people pay for one tank of gas can get you unlimited rides on the bus for an entire month. So that's exactly what more and more people are starting to do. RTC said in February they experienced a pretty big jump in ridership. In fact, they hit a new record high since the pandemic began of over 125,000 passengers a day. We're actually expecting that the, the number of daily riders will actually increase uh, more, more so over the, over the next couple of months. So yesterday I went to check things out for myself and I met James Morale. He's been riding the bus for years and told me that lines are getting much longer and buses, well, they are way, way fuller. All of a sudden, everybody's realizing that this is a better way to travel and it's cheaper than paying five bucks a gallon for gas. So they're doing that. And the biggest takeaway here, you can't control gas prices, but you can control how you commute. RTC also offers other public transportation programs to help you save some money. We have posted those options for you up on our website, KTNV.com. Reporting live in studio this morning, I'm Lisa Bethencourt. Listen, thank you. Also, with the high gas prices, many people are considering other alternatives like electric vehicles. But a lot of people are pretty skeptical about the facts regarding electric vehicles. And one of the myths out there is that all electric vehicles have the same range. They do not. Electric range may have been limited in the past, but EV advancements now are quickly moving into the future. There are vehicles out there with 100 miles of range. There are vehicles out there with over 300 or even Lucid with over 500 miles of range. When it comes to battery powered vehicles, car companies are now leading the charge with connecting EV drivers to their charging network, making it easier for everyone to be able to see where their charging stations are at. Experts say if you are considering an electric vehicle, it's really important to know your options. There's more than 100 models set to debut by 2024 from Mercedes to Toyota, Ford, GM and a lot more. 
In the meantime, Governor Sisolak has also announced the state now has signed on to an effort to accelerate the market for electric medium and also heavy duty vehicles. As we're seeing in real time with record breaking gas prices, coupled with our lower than average electricity rates and our fierce commitment to climate action, now is the time for Nevada to be a leader in transportation electrification. The governor says that a task force now will develop a multi-state action plan to identify some of the barriers and also propose some solutions to support widespread electrifying trucks. The partnership is with 16 other states as well. well soaring prices, shrinking inventory and also increasing mortgage rates, they are certainly making it tough to buy a home right here in Las Vegas. A local home expert says the clock is ticking right now. Buyers need to make a move before rates go up even more. Now, the founder of New Home Experts, Jennifer Graff, says paying close attention to your contingencies can help beat those cash offers. One thing to do is waive the appraisal by paying more than what the bank has valued the home at. But because you're financing, you're still limited by the bank, but you're taking that limitation away by saying you'll pay over and above the appraised value. You might want to lower your price point that you're looking at, what your budget is, just by a little bit so you can accommodate maybe making an offer above that list price. She adds the cost to borrow money is getting more expensive, so if you're planning on buying a home, see your lender to see what you qualify for. That's because the rates may no longer be in your budget. Well, meanwhile, right now, rent in the valley is still going up, but there are some indications that perhaps, just perhaps, it may be cooling off at least a little bit. Apartmentlist.com says that the rent went up only less than one-tenth of a percentage point since last month. But it jumped more than 24% when you compare it to this time last year, and that's where the issues are. Uh, renters right now can expect to pay right around $1,500 on a two-bedroom apartment and almost $1,200 for a one-bedroom apartment. Well, today, El Cortez is transitioning to an adult-only property. The first phase kicks off today. Hotel guests must now be 21 years or older, and the second phase will include ID checks at every entrance there. Still no word, though, on when that's going to start off. The uh, first property in downtown Las Vegas to be adult only was Circa. Well, a new home ice advantage, perhaps. We'll see this weekend. The Henderson Silver Knights, they're going to make their big debut at the new Dollar Loan Center. Yeah, Silver Knights will host their 10 home games in the new arena in Green Valley. And that's where we find Rachel Moore joining us live now with what fans can look forward to. You look very comfortable yeah, in those seats there, Rachel. There. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I am very comfortable here sitting, sitting center ice inside the Dollar Loan Arena. This is one of 6,000 seats in this state-of-the-art facility, $84 million. And, you know, even though the Vegas Nighthawks, they've played their indoor games here, indoor football games here, and even though the Big West Championship in CAA men's basketball, they've had their championship held here, this will be the first time that the Henderson Silver Knights get to christen their new arena. You got to come out here Monday and Tuesday uh, for practice, uh, skate up a little bit, break in the ice, and they loved it. They were raved about it uh, after practice. Um, they ve feel very fortunate from a mindly perspective to be playing in a place like this. Now, this is one of the great things about the Silver Knights games is that it's affordable for families to come out here and enjoy a pro hockey game. Tickets to Saturday night's game start as low as $25 and parking is only $12. 10 if you pre pay prepay online and you're getting more than just a game. Before the puck drops, fans can enjoy the tilt yard in front of the Dollar Loan Center Arena. They'll have music, food trucks, tailgate games, inflatables for kids to bounce around in. And then the Silver Knights players and coaches will make a special appearance when they roll out the silver carpet to officially welcome the Silver Knights to their new home game. Now all of that fun starts at 3.30. The puck drops for the Silver Knights game. They're play at 7 o'clock. They're playing the con uh, the Bakersfield Condors. Right now they're actually in Bakersfield to play the Condors tonight, but tomorrow night will be their first home game and they will play the remaining home games here in this new facility. It's it's amazing in here. It feels very cool, of course, because of the ice. And you know, Todd Kalina, I could get used to a seat like this, center ice. I think I think I feel pretty good here. Pretty good, uh, Rachel, there as well. In the meantime, uh, people are going to have to get used to the idea of uh, paying for parking in Henderson. All right, in the meantime, uh, taking racing now off the streets and putting it on the tracks. The Las Vegas Motor Speedway encouraging those who like to put the pedal to the metal to go ahead and join the NHRA Drag Racing Series. Now, that race taking place today. 
So they're going to have 20 top fuel and funny car events and 17 pro stock events and 15 pro stock motorcycle events as well. Good morning, Las Vegas. Time now is 641. While well, a spike in catalytic converters is causing a more frustration right now for drivers. There are none in the country and we don't know when they're going to get them in. Can't repair your vehicle because of car part shortages. So what you could do if you happen to be stuck in that situation. Plus, getting up close and personal to trucks of all sorts, where you can take the whole family for the Touch a Truck event, all while supporting a good cause. And we also have a look at some of the shows you can catch tonight right here on Channel 13, 8 o'clock Shark Tank, followed by 2020 at 9. Then stick with us for 13 Action News live at 11. And welcome back. A quick look right now at today's top stories. The sentencing phase is set to begin today for a man who pleaded guilty to shooting a Metro police officer. But police say that Edgar Samaniego shot Officer Shane Michelonis in the head during a Black Lives Matter protest in June of 2020. A Michelonis survived but is now paralyzed from the neck down. Samaniego is facing several charges, including attempted murder and assault, prosecutors say. He could be sentenced up to 68 years in prison. All eyes right now on are on the uh, other possible sign now of a recession. So uh, two and 10 year Treasury yields inverted just yesterday. This was for the first time since 2019. This means investors are not as confident in long term health of the economy. An inverted yield curve has predicted past recessions with accuracy. Also, the Labor Department just released some March job numbers. Employers added some 431,000 jobs despite historic inflation and also the war in Ukraine. But that is slightly lower than experts have predicted. The unemployment rate dropped.